I'm making creamy chicken sauce um, with cheese. I need the chicken and uh, mixed vegetables. That is parsley, dry parsley in the big jar and black pepper, mustard, mint and um, that is salt, sorry, <laughs> double cream, two tubs, uh, oil, vinegar, two onions and spring onion. Now for me the spring onion I need to use it so um, also garlic and tomatoes we'll just be using a touch of that and then for the cheese now you can see we love cheese here but these are my favorite brands that's why i brought everything out for you to see i really like pilgrim's choice it's virtually finished and we always buy those little ones and this is the seriously strong one and i always go for extra mature before i couldn't stand it but now it, it has to be extra mature and yeah i got this big pack recently from as does the rest of sainsbury's but you can find them anywhere of course and this when i usually cook it i do put mushrooms in there but today i won't be doing so my daughter is not so keen on it and i just wanted to share these with you i actually have them for a while now but i haven't had a video so i couldn't share it is this pan that i got from sainsbury's it's actually a collection and that's it all there so this one would be the one underneath the medium sized pots it doesn't come with a cover this was 30 pounds initially and i got it on sale for 7 pound 50 there were loads of them there which i could buy more and my favorite had to be the cast iron it's the three liter one and this one was 25 pounds and i got it for 12 pounds 50. so i'm really excited about these okay so now i'll just go and prep the chicken and we get started I've done all the prepping, that's the two whole onions, the spring onion, um, the chopped tomatoes, so it's just like a, a level tablespoon, and that's the garlic, I've used five cloves. Earlier on I forgot to show you white pepper, I use white pepper here, but I do still use the black pepper, but that's just to season the chicken. So I've deboned and skinned the chicken, and I've cut them into what I prefer. So you can go smaller or larger. Sorry, that doesn't look nice, does it? I'll take it off. I did wash it, I promise you. And um, that's the mustard parsley. Now, usually I wouldn't add dry parsley or even fresh when I'm seasoning chicken. But that's because this is going to be done differently. I'm going to fry the chicken, but we're not frying it to brown it. I'm just frying it to basically cook it and then I'll take it out and go ahead with these. So I've put the parsley in there and that's the black pepper, that's garlic and this is mint. Quite a bit of mint, I would say a large teaspoon and then salt of course. And just the last thing to put would be the vinegar. And not too much because I've gone heavy on the uh, mustard. I really like to put a lot of mustard here. Now I did mention earlier with the mushrooms, I particularly just like mushrooms and this is really nice with mushrooms. I do it two ways. I take half of the mushrooms and I would fry them after I fry the chicken and I fry it really until it's just about burnt so there's hardly any bite to it. And then the other half I'd put in say five minutes before I switch off the chicken sauce. So that gives you a meaty mushroom. It's really nice, but this is actually basically for my daughter for the entire week. So that's why I'm making this as it is. And um, yeah, all the other ingredients are back in the fridge, the um, vegetables, the cheese and the double cream. And yeah, so again, with the chicken and the double cream, don't go according to my measurements. I have mentioned earlier in our household the children just are not keen on chicken 
I don't know when you put food for them they'll eat all around it and then leave the chicken there and you'd have to force them to eat it so that's why most of my videos you'd see that I don't really use a lot of meat just some of them <laughs> but um, yeah so if anytime you think the ratio is not really right just keep that in mind it's not because I'm doing it um, and I think that's the way it should be it's very much intentional So I've just put the cooker on and now I'm just going to add the oil. I won't add too much oil, that's because I'm going to take the chicken out and I'll take most of the oil out when I do that, seeing as if I'm not going to let it fry till it's brown. If you do let it fry till it's brown then the oil comes back out but I won't be doing that. So when I take the chicken out, I will be adding more oil to fry the onions. Now this is not a forgiving dish at all. I did mention this is for, I have two girls and one of them absolutely loves, loves this dish. So whenever I make it, I make quite a bit and especially for her, she'll eat it throughout whenever she wants. She can switch up on a Tuesday or whatever, but basically she does go through it until it's finished. Because of the double cream, it's really, really, I don't know, you will just have to think if you want to make it or not. But it's really nice, I like it. So I'm just going to pop the chicken in. There's no need to let the chicken marinate in there, it's fine because of the way we're going to do it. So what I've done is, with the spoon, I've just mixed everything through, right? And I'm going to pop the lid on. If you do watch my videos, you know that this is something I never do, but with this one, we're going to do it. Again, like I said, we just want to cook this through and take it out. That's just to avoid later when you put it in, you have um, anything from the chicken that's not cooked yet coming through. It's at 11 minutes and yeah that's okay I'm going to take that out but before I do that I'm just going to do the veg. Now that's the veg the amount that I want and I've put it in this um, saucer and there's no water in there whatsoever I'm just going to pop it in the microwave and cook it uh, until it has a top bitter bite to it. Okay, so back to the chicken. So this is what you have left. As you can see, oh goodness, you can't really see the oil that can fry the onions. But this is very important, this part, because that juice there is needed to keep the chicken moist so just cover this by the way i did wash my bowl that's the same bowl that was the raw right, chicken 16 in. minutes had a bit of a delay there so no need to clean that just put the oil in and not too much because i'm after a paste of this onion well, not a paste but again as well i don't want it to brown it's a white sauce after all, so you try and not get the ingredients, change the color. I think that should be fine. Let me see. No, just a little bit more. Today is the 28th of February. Okay, that's the vegetables. And um, earlier on, about half an hour ago, there was the brightest sunlight ever coming through and it was so nice oh dear look this is burning let me stop talking <laughs> it was so nice because earlier on in the day I can't talk now let me put everything I'll tell you later okay so um I don't know what's happened to my flash. Um, 
I don't put bay leaves in this, so I'm using this. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Is it Herbs de Provence? <laughs> don't laugh. So fake. I'm going to put a bit of this. This is not what I usually do. I've actually just noticed this in Sainsbury's, but I've used it a couple of times and I like it. I think it's just got a bunch of herbs in it. Thyme, rosemary, oregano, say savory what's that basil tarragon mushroom you can use mixed herbs if you want to but just a little because we have got the mint and the parsley you don't want to have so many things floating around okay my story what's going on with the recording okay so i'm going to add salt as well I still can't tell you the story because I need to keep adjusting this um, device. There's something going on. I don't quite know what it is. And um, some of the white pepper. Be generous with this. It's really good. Although I'm not going to be entirely generous because of my daughter. But yeah, that should be okay. And just mix it and then we're going to cover it as well. That's at 24, and I just want to cover it. This is taking a lot longer because I'm still having difficulty with this. And okay, so that's really what I wanted. Let me just say something very quickly. So, when I mix it up, I'm going to do this okay, so it's to sort of break it up. Minutes, as much but as please, please ignore this timing I've just had a really tough time trying to regulate this device so I've brought forward the double creams both of them and that's the cheese over there and um, the cheese is about a hundred gram again this is just what I want there's two reasons why I don't put a lot of cheese that's because if you put too much when it's cold it's really not a pretty sight the other thing is because my daughter eats this with two different things she likes it with pasta or rice but if you put too much cheese it's not really nice with the rice so now it's time for the double cream by the way all this while with the onions it was at the lowest heat possible my highest heat is at six and i've been frying it all the way through at one and that's it so i just poured the double cream both of them and I am going to put a little bit of water in there just to mix it, just to get my money's worth. Okay, that's the one with the water now. And now I'm going to put the heat up to mark two. So it's 10 minutes later and it can take a while to warm back up especially if the double cream just come from the fridge and um, I'm going to put in the chicken now and that um, juice you can see down there all of a sudden I've lost my word for this why am I calling it juice is it broth okay okay so now I'm going to give it about 10 minutes still on the it's medium at 107 level. And I'm going to put in the veg. And the veg really is already cooked. Everything really was already cooked after the onions were done because the double cream hardly needs cooking. But it's nice to... Well, if you're making cream sauce, you must cook it. So, okay, and I'm just going to give it, I think, about three minutes and then I'm going to put in the cheese. Okay, so my story earlier on, I've lost the momentum now. It's not as nice as it was going to be. I think I was mentioning the sunlight that came through. So I woke up earlier and I was watching YouTube and I came, I actually went 
to a website where I was reading something and uh, the the story mentioned a particular person and I the person left a comment which was very good actually because he directed people to something he had done which is a YouTube um, channel and I watched it it's an actually an hour long video but because it's about Gambia the hour went by so quick I it's the best video of Gambia I've seen so it's just a vlogging video that he's gone on holiday his name is Kieran and I don't know the full name of the YouTube channel as I stand here so I'm just going to leave a link to his um, channel for you to watch it so just click on the eye and it will take you to the actual video yeah so he really seems to like Gambia and that's really good for any Gambian to know I really like it thank you Kieran that was the best video I've seen such respect and such genuine love and yeah he, he wasn't very he wasn't pretentious at all one or twice he was like, oh I don't like but then yeah it's not like there's every way there's something you didn't like and I think that's what really made me even warm to him more when he commented on something that wasn't positive but you can see the way he dealt with it it was just so normal i shouldn't even bring that up because in actuality it was just the fact really but i'm just saying like because he's not gambian i guess you could have had someone else gone a very a wrong direction in making his point known but yeah and the video was so funny I liked so many things about it and my favorite thing was that crocodile uh, is it just me or do crocodiles have that um that's not skin is it is it hide I don't know <laughs> I just know how to cook I don't know everything yeah, so this cro crocodile had this snake like thing it was very nice I really like that and the monkeys were cute yeah and everything else I love that video and I think it's a video that I'll be watching quite a lot so we're at 112 and I put the cheese in and at this point we're done I'm ready so I'm just gonna switch it off I cook this in 30 minutes most of the time 45 minutes depending on the amount Today was just the device, and now that we're done, it's probably telling me to stop talking so much in my YouTube videos, because as soon as I'm done, everything's working perfectly. So we are finished. Unfortunately, I cannot at this very point show you how it's eaten, because I haven't made pasta or rice. I'm going to make it, and then I'll show you, or it will just be in the caption picture all right thank you very much so and it's all plated up and this today oh. she's eating it with rice so on the caption i will try and put the spaghetti one there or any other pasta she's having it with 